Gerard Mayo, one of the most feared linebackers of a generation. Mayo played his college ball at Tennessee from 2005 to 2007, appearing in 32 games and registering 236 tackles. He was drafted 10th overall by the New England Patriots in 2008, a pro bowler in 2010 and 2012, where he led the league in tackles. He was named a first team all pro in 2010. Mayo led the Patriots in total tackles each of his first five seasons and became just the second Patriots player to win the AP Defensive Rookie of the Year. Mayo played in 103 games in his career in New England, racking up 905 tackles. He was named a team captain for seven consecutive seasons and is a 2014 Super Bowl champion. Mayo spent his entire NFL career in New England, retiring following the 2015 season. In 2019, Gerard began his coaching career as inside linebackers coach with the Patriots, learning from his old coach, Bill Belichick. But now, he's ready for a new challenge. Hello? This is Mayo. Yeah, I can tackle that. Welcome to the series. We are Marshall. Yo, let's go. What is going on, y'all? Welcome into the channel. I'm Kimbro Plays. It's lovely to have you. Yo, I am fired up to play one of my all-time favorite games, NCAA 14. We got the college football revamped version. Shout out to the homies at CFBR. They're doing an amazing job building out this game. Literally, I don't even understand. It's crazy. They are putting a brand new coat of paint on a game that's almost 10 years old, and it's amazing. It's it's completely refreshed. It looks fantastic. Um, so I'm excited to get into it on this series. I'm pumped to get this going with Gerard Mayo, 35 years old, coming to Huntington, first time head coach, ready to lead the thundering herd in this series. After he got done playing with the New England Patriots, he's sliding over into a head coaching role, and I'm excited. He hasn't been a coordinator or even a head coach at any level, but he was a wonderful leader in his playing days, and Marshall thought that they should give him a shot. So here we are. He's getting his first opportunity, and I'm excited to dive in. Okay, it's preseason time. Let's take a look at this roster. Obviously, we got some re recruiting. We got to dive into some red shirts, but I want to take a look at the depth chart and really dive into this Marshall squad. Grant Wells, QB1, 85 overall, 83 speed, 94 acceleration and, agil and agility. He's a really good athlete. 87 throw power, 84 accuracy. He's got all of the physical traits. He's got a big live arm. Hopefully we can keep him upright because uh, he's really going to drive the, the whole thing for us all season. Rasheen Ali, 6'201", redshirt freshman. Not really going to jump off the page with his athleticism, but he's got great total overall balance skill. And as you can see from the depth chart, not a lot behind him. We really need him to be the workhorse back. Heavy, heavy load work for him. Corey Gamage. 6'4", 220, redshirt sophomore. Again, not going to really blow you away with any of his traits, but just great size, great athleticism. Going to be a nice big target for us. Talit Keaton, I also think, is going to be a really solid piece for us. 6'1", 184, kind of that opposite outside receiver. And then, of course, Willie Johnson, 6'178", 95 speed, 97 agility and acceleration. Absolute stud athlete. There's definitely a lot of pieces here at Marshall to get us going. As you can see the depth chart, um, Xavier Gaines, the tight end, actually slots in at wide receiver four because as you can tell, he's such a good athlete. Redshirt senior, 6'3", 16, 80 plus everything. Catching traffic, route running, agility, awareness. He's, he just kind of does it all for us. He's going to be a great threat on offense. Offensive line is anchored by Alex Molet. Absolute stud, 89 overall. Going to be a baller. Jamari Edwards is DT1. He's going to have to anchor the D-line for us. He's about the only guy in the 80s on the entire D-line. Eli Neal, sophomore, 6'2", 223. He's going to have to come in and play a lot as a true sophomore, holding it down on that second level. And if the name Stephen Gilmore sounds familiar, at least the Gilmore part, Stefan's little brother is in Huntington playing for Marshall. CB1. Nazib, Nazib Johnson is our starting free safety redshirt senior. And then also Brandon Drayton. The two guys in the deep secondary really kind of round out the rest of this defense and make this team solid. 
taking a look at the custom schedules. Pretty cupcakey. Not a lot happening. Conference USA. Marshall doesn't have any difficult trips on the road. So I actually think I want to throw somebody in uh, to give us a little bit more of a challenge. We do go on the road to Virginia Tech. I want to throw in here in like week five-ish, week three or four. Well, let's see. Let me look. I think it's week two. Week two matchup. I wanted to holler at West Virginia, but Virginia, the Cavaliers will have to do. We'll go on the road to them. We'll bring OU to us for the rivalry game, and that'll be solid for us to get going on our first full year in Huntington. I don't want to go on the road to anybody huge and massive. I don't know what to do with this team. Just have to play it out. Here's our preseason polls. Bama, Oklahoma, Clemson, Ohio State, Georgia round out your top five. Pretty solid powerhouse names. Lots of representation from the big conferences. And as we scroll down the list, we got a little bit of a ways to go. Coming in at 58th, Marshall. C plus is across the board with a D plus in special teams. Conference outlook. Not a lot of love. Don't Nobody's picking us to win our side of the division, but we are scheduled to finish third, potentially. I don't know how accurate this is in the conference outlook, but we'll just have to see. Diving into our first game, it's week one. The Miami of Ohio Red Hawks are in town in Huntington. 79, 79, 78 for Marshall is how we slate. 74, 77, 75. I think we've got a good a good looking group and let's get this one going. The first official play, the first official action for our boy Gerard Mayo. Willie Johnson gets this one. 24 yards, returns it out just past the 30 as he sends Grant Wells out onto the field. Coaching in his first official game. Here we go. Grant leads his boys out. First and 10 from just outside the 30. We got the jet motion, the gives going wide to Johnson. Ooh, Willie with good speed, gets to the edge. Solid gain in nine. I like him. I like him already working out of the slot. Second and short. Wells in the shotgun. Fakes the give, keeps it himself, slides down. Easy first down. Wells, his legs are going to be key for us. First and 10. After a really solid first couple plays, leveraging the ground game. Wells doesn't like what he sees. Going to switch it up. Running out of time. It doesn't get the playoff. Delay. Delay of game. Offense. Bruh. Look, first of all, it's been a long time since I played in TA. Still remembering the buttons. And it's Gerard in this offense's first time out together, right? It's going to be some hiccups as we try to figure out what's happening and who's calling the plays. We're making sure we get the plays in right. Just a little bit of growing pains. As the clock runs down, first and 15. Wells, rolling right, escapes the pocket, dumps it off to Corey Gamage. That's a gain of nine. Love to see the wide receiver come back to the ball. I see you seven. A good, strong throw on the run by Wells. Second and six. Wells bringing his boys out. Shotgun look. And that's our first touch for Ali as he rumbles for 13. We're doing a good job establishing ourselves in the ground game early on, already across midfield. Looking at another first and 10. Wells in the shotgun, sends Ali in motion. The quick bubble orbit motion to Ali, who trucks a corner, gains five. Good to see he can catch the ball a little bit. Okay, second and five. Wells in the shotgun again. Ali flanks his left, gets the snap. Quickly out to the left to Ali, who's got some room. Rumbles through the same guy, I think. Another. Quick first down for Ali, who always falls forward. I like it already. Okay, here we go. First and 10. Shotgun, two tight ends left. Wells fakes the give, dumps it down to Gaines. Short pickup of four, but let's get the tight end going a little bit. I'm really excited by the pieces we've got on offense. You know, there's not a lot of depth on this roster, so we're going to have to be really careful that we don't have any injuries. We're really smart and sensible as Ali gets this carry. Inside give for 10. He's going to be a beast. Right outside of Wells, we got to make sure that we keep him upright. He doesn't take too many hits. And these skill players get an opportunity to touch the ball in space. I think this offense is going to carry us. First and 10. Wells rolls right, gets hit as he throws. Incomplete. First incompletion of the game. Everything covered up. Wells with nowhere to go. Probably could have ditched it a little bit. 
held it a little longer than I wanted to. Took the hit. He's got to be real careful about that. Ooh. Nice play by the Miami defense. Stepping up in the red zone now. Definitely a concern I have, the interior of this offensive line. Outside of the center, Molette, we don't have a lot. So we'll have to see just how effective we are, especially against the better teams on the D-line. Third and 11, Wells rolling, looking. Dumps it to the end zone, and that's Keaton. That's a third and 10, third and 11 conversion. Keaton gets the first grab of the day, first touchdown of the season. We in the end zone, baby. Long sustained drive by the Marshall offense. Come out and punch it in for seven. Miami's gonna take over at their own 25. Blaine Gabbert's little brother, the quarterback for the Red Hawks, gives this one on the jet sweep to Jalen Walker, gets five. Second and five. We're gonna definitely need to see how this defense plays. We know we have one stud on the D-line, one at linebacker, but can this secondary carry us the whole time as Nazee Johnson comes up and makes a great tackle on Gabbert. Got us with the zone read a little bit. Third and short. Got to stand up. Like I said, only Jamari Edwards, is he's the only one over 80 overall on the D-line, and we need him to play like that. Oh, Gabbert scrambling. Fumbles. Recovered by Miami. But there's that man. On cue, Jamari Edwards, as we see it from his angle, fights through the D-line or through the offensive interior, finds his way to the quarterback, forces the fumble. Unfortunately, we're not able to jump on it, but that's what we need. Fourth and five, Miami coming out to punt, as they should, naturally. I'm super excited. Joshua Bowers is our returner. He's got great athleticism. Here he is, number 10, his first punt return of the day. Bowers gets to the edge. A little bit of wiggle, falling forward. Good 20-yard return, Bowers. I like that. I like that. Great field position to start this drive. Taking over on the other half of the 50. Wells in the pistol. Going to bring Gamage in motion. We're going to take a look. Give us off right. Ali fights off one. Can't get to off the second one. Nice play by Miami. Lost a two. Like I said, I'm not really worried about the skill positions or the quarterback. I think all of the question marks on this team happen and revolve around this offensive line outside of Molette, the center. So just have to see how they hold up. Play action here on second and long. We get it out quick to Evans in space. Makes a move. It's dragged down, but that's a good gain of nine. Wells off to a great start. Six of seven passing with the touchdown. He's been calm, composed. His first quarter of action. Give to Evans here. Nice play by, by Miami, leaving us with a fourth and inches. This side of the 50, too far for a kick. We've shown we can run the ball. Let's just, uh, let's just line up and pound this thing ahead, huh? Fourth and inches, give inside to Ali. Fights off a couple, gets dragged down. Kind of an ugly run, but we make it happen. Good first down there, keeping the drive alive. Converting our first fourth down of the game, of the season. Wells, inverted veer, takes it, slides down after a gain of 11. Love to see the man use his legs, but also protect himself. Let's go. Pretty balanced, nine, nine rushes, seven throws so far early in this game. I don't love the look pre-snap here. Let's go ahead and audible. I don't want to take the delay, but I also don't want to run a screen into a front that's got so many linebackers. So we're going to just give this off to the left side for Ali, and it was a good decision running out wide off tackle. Inside the 10, Ali goes for 11. I see you. Down inside the 10-yard line. Our second trip in the red zone so far. Wells and shotgun. Play action, we're rolling right, we're rolling right. Looking, 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 keeping, hurtling, <laughs> getting out of bounds. Certainly tried to make a late decision to throw to triangle, didn't mean to jump out of bounds, Grant. Looks like that play is gonna run us to the end of the first quarter. Didn't want to take a hit there. But we're in, uh, we're in striking distance again. Good first quarter for the boys. Here we go. Second and goal from about the four. Wells bringing Keaton in motion. Inside give, though, to Ali, who falls forward, and he's in for his first score of the season. I see you twos. Way to punch it in. I think Ali's going to be a problem inside the red zone. Good to see him get his first score of the season. And quickly, Marshall up 14-0. Miami, how will they respond? Coming out on first and 10. Setting up the screen. Nice play on the edge by our corner to 
fight off that block. Still learning everybody on the roster. Don't have all the names down yet. This is only my first or second time playing with this team. I played with them once before firing up the dynasty just to get a feel. Gabbard under pressure and he's gonna go down. We sent a great little zone blitz there. Brought the safety, creeped him down in the box. Actually McCoy, I believe he's the slot corner. So that nickel corner, he just came in unblocked. Down goes Gabbard. Third and long. See if we can pump up the crowd a little bit. Neil getting these guys fired up. Trying to get off the field. Second straight three and out. Get this ball back for a rolling offense. Third and 11. Gabbert sets, throws, dumps it off way short. Andrew Homer only gets a gain of three. Fourth and eight. It's time to punt. I really like Bowers. Let's give him another crack. Miami gets this one off clean, but Bowers has room to return. He's got some more blocks set up. This time a much better return than the first. Fights off one. That's a 25-yarder for Bowers. He could really be a weapon for us. Here we go. First and 10. Grant Wells bringing these guys out. Looks like looks like we had a bubble screen called. Not feeling that. Just going to change the play quickly. Audible it. Inside give. Give Ali a little bit of room. Squeezes his way up in there for five. We're currently using the spread option playbook. I figured we would be doing a lot of running on the ground, and we are, but I don't know that I love the playbook long-term. We'll just have to see as Wells runs the triple option. Gives the late pitch to Gamage, trying to get downfield to give another block. Gamage tries to put the brakes on. That's a huge gain. Love the triple option off the motion. Pitch it to your wide receiver in space. Would love to see him break a tackle, but that's a great play. We love to see it. Eight first downs, zero so far for Miami. We're in complete control of this game early inside the 10 again Johnson in motion this time it goes inside to Ali who gets dragged down just short of the goal line very similar play to what we ran to score last drive I do like this playbook I think there's a lot of really good formations it's just a lot of run plays so we'll have to see how it works for us as we set up from the one easy money for Ali inside of a yard didn't even get credited for a yard he's in for his second score of the day Miami really in a hole now, down 21-0. Marshall in complete control of this game early. We'll have to see if they are going to abandon the run game or if they're going to still try to sprinkle in a little bit here, but we're off to a good start. First down, nice give underneath to Mac Hippenhammer. What a name. Got to imagine Hippenhammer is a real person too. That's the kind of name that I don't think they would ever make up. But here we go. Miami's first first down of the day. Gabbert play action quickly out to Davis on the sideline. Gilmore cleans it up just short of a first down. Miami certainly needs to get something going on this drive. Moving the ball well on us so far. Neal closes it down from his linebacker position. Lays the wood on Jalen Bester. What a great read react. Fills it, sticks it. I think for this defense to be what we want it to be, Neal's going to have to be that guy for us all year. Dangerous in the run game, effective in the pass game. He's really going to have to step up that true sophomore. Third and two, out to the right. Hippenhammer squeezes it. Takes a huge shot on the sideline, but golly, they convert again. Hey, give Miami credit. Gabbert's 5 of 5 passing. This is their first real drive of the, of the day. And uh, doing a nice job getting the ball out quick for Gabbert. And the inside run game, pretty successful as Bester falls forward for seven. Like I said earlier, that's my biggest concern. We've got three studs in the secondary between the two safeties and one of the corners. The defensive interior is pretty solid with Jamari. We just gotta find ourselves some edge rushers, more linebacker play. Obviously, we're gonna work to develop those positions. We're gonna recruit really hard on the edges, uh, but I'm just trying to think of what would hold this team back, and I think that's really it. First down for Miami on that last play. They give inside to Bester, who got room. Scampers for 11. We're set up under Gerard Mayo to run a traditional 4-3, but it's got multiple looks, multiple fronts. In this particular one, obviously we've got that outside linebacker right up against the line of scrimmage, basically giving like a five-down lineman look as Andrew Homer just freaking runs everybody over, breaks like four tackles for eight. Brett Gabbard off to a 5-5 five five start. He's absolutely dealing. He might be up to 7-for-7 seven seven now. Still has not thrown an incompletion. We're going to bring a little bit of pressure. Gabbert sees it. He checks. They pick it up. He tries to scramble, but he gets grabbed. Our third sack of the day. Rodney Kroom with the sack. His first time seeing his name 
make a play. I love to see it. Big third and five as they're on the doorstep of the red zone. Definitely don't want to let them get any momentum. I would love to keep the foot on the pedal. Third and five, Gabbert throws a dart across the middle to Hippenhammer. Man, oh man, what a ball this was. He got some protection. He stands in there. He rips it on the post route. Inside leverage for the wide receiver. Easy pitch and catch. First and goal from inside the 10. Love to see the defense stand up and make a play here, but this is the first time that Miami's really moved the ball at all, so we'll see how, how this plays out. Gabbert sets, looks over the middle, and that's Jack Sorensen. He finds his wide receiver for seven. Nine of nine, 69 yards. Nice. And a touchdown for Gabbert, who's off to a hot start. That's a good ball. Good route on the slant. Give Miami credit. Put together a great drive right when they needed it. Gabbert on fire, accurate on time, delivering darts downfield. We got a great... Uh, oh, my God, that's a fumble. That's a fumble by Wells, recovered, luckily, by our offensive line. Is he down here? Heads up play at, from his right guard position. I'm not sure. Are we going to have to take a look at this? I think we might. Okay, they are going to take a look. I didn't. I felt like that ball came out super late. Wells tried to keep it on the zone read. I think his left knee is definitely down here. Definitely down. Good. You guys shouldn't have messed it up in the first place. As I was saying, Miami, huge drive. Put together a big response right before they got their doors just waxed in this game. Gabbard's been sharp. He's been accurate. We got to find a way to get to him more consistently, though. Ali on second and 12 gets the give up the middle. Goes for nine and falls forward. Great run. Third and three, Wells brings his team up to the line. Got some curls concepts and a halfback angle out of the backfield dialed up. Wells running out of time, rolling right into tight coverage. Gamage is able to make the play. E. Seven of eight, 59 yards and a touchdown. Both quarterbacks definitely showing uh, what they're made of here in this first half. Wells switches up the play. Inside give to Ali. Had some space. It closed down quickly. Short gain of four. Going to look at a little hurry up here. Under a minute. Going to try to save our timeouts. Don't love the inside run. Switch up the play. Go empty here. Definitely going to try to look to get this ball in the air. Quickly out to the sideline. That's Willie Johnson in space. Gets grabbed and drugged down. Good gain of 10, though. Coach Mayo takes his first time out of the first half. Got two left here. 45 seconds left to go. Playbook still pretty wide open. As we give to Willie Johnson on the screen, who spins, fights. Only gain of four. Thought we might have caught him sleeping there. Going to stay in the hurry up. 30 seconds and counting. Going to slide gains out of the way. Man coverage. Got the zone redialed up. Give inside to Ali. Find some room first down. That'll stop the clock. And we'll take our timeout. Five and a half yards per carry so far for Ali. He's been fantastic. Absolutely loving what he gives us. Always falling forward. So far been super reliable in the pass game too. Going empty on first and 10. Wells calling some different audibles, some different hot routes, rolling left, looking, looking, throws, incomplete. Had a couple wide receivers in the area. Unlucky to miss there. Good news about an incompletion. Does stop the clock. Second and 10, of course. 14 seconds left. Obviously, I fully expect these guys to be playing the pass at this stage. Taking a look. A couple smash concepts on the outside. Not a lot of room, feeling pressure. Wells rolls right, it's gonna get closed down quickly, knocked out of bounds after a gain of one. Thought we might caught, catch them in a little cover too. Did not, unfortunately. But let's just see. Split, split safety coverage. See if we can get Willie Johnson across the middle. Hits, gets hit as the ball arrives. Good D by Miami. Fourth and nine, five seconds. We're gonna have to kick it. Our first time attempting Lefty kicker, throwing me off a little bit. Jacucci, I don't know how to say his name. Jacici. Hey, whatever it is, he drains it. 24-7 at the half. Gotta feel good about your first half if you're Gerard Mayo and this coaching staff. Boys came out playing some inspired football at home. Very, very good start. Definitely slowed down with our defensive energy the back half of that second quarter. Definitely want to make sure we don't let these guys off the hook feel like they get into a rhythm on offense certainly don't want to do that second and five man coverage across the board Neil <laughs> Eli Neil almost had his first young fellow we gotta have it 
We have got to have it. Third and five. Great stop. I guess that's why he's on defense, right? It's not the old adage. Third and five. Cover two look across the board. Let's see if we can lock him down. Can we rally and tackle? We cannot. Forced him to throw it short, but Bester's slippery. Falls forward for seven. He picks up the first down. Gabbert now 10 of 11. Only one incompletion. He's been very efficient. Drops back. Gets a little protection. Dumps this one off to Bester on the flat. They do a nice job forcing him out of bounds, but he's able to get nine. Second and one. We certainly need to bring a little bit of pressure. Got a zone, a zone blitz look coming. See if we can get in there. We force the quick throw, but he's able to just barely get it out as he gets it to Sorensen for five first down. Definitely want to see us force a force a uh, a long three and out at this point in the drive. We don't want to see him get across midfield again. As uh, the wide receiver, here's a little footsteps there. Brandon Drayton in the area. Like I said, these safeties could be a really, really important piece of this defense. Definitely both hard hitters. Second and 10, a quick inside mid-zone screen to Jack Sorensen. He does a nice job stiff arming, gains four. I definitely feel like their skill sets complement each other as well, the two safeties. I feel like they're pretty interchangeable, which is always really nice to have in terms of versatility. Big third and six coming up. Gabbert gets it. Quick throw out to the left. It's dropped. And we finally get the stop we were looking for. First offensive series of the second half for Marshall. Grant Wells leading his team up to the line of scrimmage. Little, uh, little safety blitz look from Miami. Quickly give it off to the side to Johnson on the jet sweep. Yeah, I like him on the outside. Getting Johnson out in space on these jet sweeps or these quick screens. Certainly, uh, he's going to be a useful tool for, for us if we can keep working him out of the slot. Meanwhile, Ali straight up the gut for 12, dragging people. What a stud. We've been really, really dominant on the ground. A nice mix of inside run, outside run. The zone read thrown in there as well. Ali makes a man miss. Gets up to the second level, fighting off 18 yards. Another stiff arm. Shows the juke move here at the second level. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ali, redshirt freshman. Let's keep giving that man the rock. Yeah, definitely feeling the run game a lot from this team. Like I said, can we hold up on the offensive line as the season progresses is going to be the question, but I like it. Lots of pieces. Wells scrambles. Got room. Slides. Nice gain. Wells being able to produce on the ground with his legs. Going to be very key for us. Does a nice job eluding the rush here. Gets into space. Picks up a couple blocks. Slides down so he doesn't take a hit. That's what we want. That escapability from Grant Wells is going to be really, really key. Red shirt, freshman. Good athletic, good athleticism. It's going to be a useful tool for us. Play action boot here. Wells looking left, spins around, throws to Gaines. Uh, I really would have expected him just to flip his hips and just flick it out there, but he pirouettes and gets rid of it. There's still some goofiness in NCAA 14. Uh, I don't think college football revamped could fix everything, of course, but... Still a solid game. Inside give now, this time to Evans falling forward. Sheldon Evans able to get four. First down. It's an interesting uh, offensive formation. Got the tight end as the sniffer, sort of in between the guard and the tackle. Two running backs in the backfield. I think we can do a lot out of there. As Ali gets his hand off, running right, and he is untouched for eight yards into the end zone. Ali's third score on the day. What a beast. Seven plays, 77 yards on that touchdown drive, capped off by the Ali eight-yard rush. Offense, certainly as advertised. Defense has been really solid, too, so far, as Gabbard's going to go down. There's Jamari Edwards, his second sack on the day. I see you, nine. Second and 15, 31-7. Neal pumping up the crowd. Sending pressure, Gabbard feeling it. He tucks. And he's going to go down again. Second straight play as he gets sacked. Micah Abraham gets credit. Edwards was in there to help clean it up. Miami in big trouble. Third and 20. Two straight sacks by this Marshall defense. The crowd is into it. Let's see what they've got dialed up here. Gabbard under pressure. And Edwards is going to get him three straight sacks for this defense. Marshall, let's freaking go. I see you, Edwards. That was the Edwards drive. Fourth and 29. From the back of his own end zone, Miami's punter. Bowers is back, ready for a return. Let's see if we can get a little magic from number 10. Secures it, 
runs right, hits the spin button, get a little bit of space, 10, I see you. Huge 27 yard return by the kid. Love the spin, love the athleticism. He is gonna be a weapon. And this drive, gonna start from the Miami 12. Oh my goodness. First and 10 for Wells. Bringing Keaton in motion, man coverage across the board as the defender runs with him. Give his left to Ali, picks up a couple blocks, doesn't get the key one that he needed on the on the far edge. Five yard rush, we'll take it though. Marshall's still a three star school, right, in this game out of six. It's a C plus across the board. It's a good place to start for uh, Gerard Mayo's first official stop as a head coach. So I definitely feel like we'll be competitive in Conference USA. I just don't know where we'll stand on the national landscape. Lots of young pieces, studs on offense, as Grant Wells takes it on the quarterback. Keeper takes a big shot. Really shouldn't have done that. Fourth and one coming up. Okay, let's see if we can convert here. Fourth and one in the full house formation. Play is set to go left to Edwards, or to Evans, excuse me. We bring Keaton in motion. Sweep, gets shut down. Half a yard short, Sheldon Evans. Miami doing a nice job disrupting turnover. Obviously not what we want to do, especially after a huge drive where you get three straight sacks. Don't want to turn it over on downs inside the five, but I also felt like if we run that ball in, it's a big GG as Johnson lays a huge hit from his safety position. Fills lays the smack down. Second and 10 inside their own five. Miami really backed up here. Gabbert goes under center, two tight ends, brings one in motion, single back look. Marshall defense slides. Oh, and we are all over that. Third and 10 from their own four. This time from the three. Crowd is into it. Given a cover three look. Same looking formation, motioning the tight end over. Inside game, Neal is there to fill. What a huge back-to-back -back stands by this defense. Neal is the real deal. This time we're coming for the block. I don't know if Bowers is gonna have any time. I'd like to see us get in there and get this one. Ah, they do a nice job plugging it up. Bowers is gonna catch this thing at the 45 though. Works his way up field, gets a little bit of an edge and then gets tripped up. 12 yard return, but I think there was more room. Another drive starting deep in Miami territory. This time inside the 30. Certainly up 31-7, you don't have to be super, super aggressive. You've got control of this game, especially with the way we're running the ball. But I still want to see this, op this offense operate, be efficient. Wells under pressure to Johnson, who makes the snag, jukes a man. Oh, are you serious, Willie? Oh my God, we got to see that again. That was absolutely filthy. Willie Johnson, not only the snag, makes two defenders trip over themselves, then hits the juke button. Meanwhile, the defense just like has Gabbert running for his life. Our seventh sack, are you kidding me? Just swallowing him whole. But yeah, my gosh, Willie Johnson, make a play, young man. 38-7, seven sacks by the defense. Offense looks fantastic. Skill positions all over the place. Uh, Miami looks completely overmatched. They have all day as Bester gets absolutely smothered after two yards. Third and long coming up. Third and 10. Miami three of eight on the day on third down conversions. Neal trying to pump up the crowd, but with such a big lead, they're not gonna get too, too animated. Gabbert stands in and delivers an absolute strike. My goodness, Brett Gabbert. Good for 29 as the pocket started to deteriorate. An absolute bullet right over the linebacker. Man, what a throw by Gabbert there. My goodness. Absolute stud. We send a little zone pressure, not able to get home as they quickly get it out to Sorensen for 11. You know, I can't lie, Gabbard has definitely shown me something. 15 of 18 passing. This has some really good throws and some tight windows. I certainly would take him on my team. He scrambled a little bit too much for me as he throws one up into coverage and completes. Johnson with the deflection, but he should have had more. I need you to squeeze it 13. As I'm in the middle of trying to praise Gabbard, he throws one up for grabs, but he has had a really nice game. He's obviously the best player on a really bad team, but he could come play for me for sure. Second and 10 is they dump it out right. My goodness, falling forward on Gilmore. Kevin Davis, first down. 16 of 20, 145 and a touchdown. Pretty balanced 18 to 20 run to pass for Miami. Gabbert stands in. Dumps it down to Bester. Gilmore comes up and fills with a nice hard tackle. I like that. Big fan of Gilmore. If he can not only 
play the pass but support the run like that. I know that wasn't a run, but if he's going to be a sure tackler like that, we're going to be in good shape. Motion, Gabbert gives the hip and hammer, gets to the edge, cuts it up. Eight-yard rush. Nice run by them on the jet sweep handoff. Second and two inside the 10. Would love to see a stand here. Definitely don't want to give them any more momentum. Gabbert throws it up. Incomplete. DPI. Incomplete. I'll take the incomplete. Absolutely. Third and two. Neil trying to get these guys fired up. We're set up for a little zone pressure look. Creeping Drayton down into the box. They're going past. Only two guys out on the route. Gabbert throws it through the back of the end zone. Fourth down. And as they should, they're going for it. Fourth and two. They're going to spread us out five wide. We're going to give them a cover three zone look. Let's see if we can get the stop. We cannot. Ooh. Gabbert hits the slant. Touchdown, Miami. Good throw. Davis with a good route. Gets off of Bowers' press coverage. Gabbert finds him over the middle. Look, give that Miami passing game credit. Gabbert's been an absolute stud all day. Uh, our defense has played a good one, but some really good throws in there as Wells comes out on first down. Triple option. He's got some room. Picks up a block. Sheds a tackle. Grant Wells, 75 yards to the house. I see you, QB1. Look, I know Wells had athleticism. I knew he could throw on the run a little bit. Up 38-14 at that point. I'm just trying to run a little triple option, get us sliding down into, into you know, a spot where we can run this ball out. And uh, he just took it to the house, and that just might have decapitated Gabbert. And to be honest, I think if Wells is that kind of player for every game of our season, I, I really don't know that anybody in Conference USA is going to be able to stop us because that unlocks a whole new level if he's able to take a play like that and take it to the house. Uh, can we tackle somebody? My goodness, Homer. Jesus. I think he broke four or five tackles on that play. I'll tell you what, that kind of tight end could come play for me any day. My goodness, what a horse. First and 10. Obviously, full-blown pass mode for these guys. And Gabbard's going to go down again as we send a very similar look to the first half sack where McCoy comes in on his uh, slot corner pressure. He's able to get in there, clean up the rest of what Simmons couldn't finish off. Gabbert is going to be sore tomorrow. Second in forever. Let's see what Gabbert and the crew have dialed up. We're giving him a cover one lurk look. See if we can be sticky. Gabbert almost went down in the backfield for another sack. He stumbles out for two yards. Third and 15. We love to see it. This defense absolutely came to play, especially when the passing only offense for Miami showed up when they got down big. Neal with a good tackle on Bester. Good gain of 10, though. Neal with eight tackles, two tackles for loss. Definitely doing his part today. He's been a really nice player. I've enjoyed usering Neal for most of the day. Fourth and six, pressure coming. Bruh. Gilmore does not get there. Sorensen is off to the races. Johnson takes him out, but that's 36 for the Red Hawks. A simple curl. Gilmore tries to dive and just no animation to make the tackle. Sorensen's off and running. First and 10. Neal in coverage. Slant route into a bunch of traffic. It goes for six. 22 of 28 for over 250. Two touchdowns for Gabbert, who has been fantastic today. He's got a second and four from inside the 10. Stands in. Pressure coming. Finds Ooh. Homer over the middle. Seven-yard touchdown. Miami is back on the board again. Caught us in man coverage. We couldn't get home. 45-21, Miami. Lines up for the onside. I'm not going to show you the two times we had to call timeout because I was hitting the wrong button and couldn't set up the onside. But Evans recovers it. That's obviously basically going to do it for us. Chew clock mode in full effect here. Third and eight. Wells in the shotgun. See if we can pick up one more first down. That should be just enough to do it today. Wells dumps it down to Gaines, who falls forward for nine. First and ten. Minute 45 to go. It does not look like Miami's going to use their timeouts. That's a GG. Always feels good to get a W. Coach Mayo gets his first career head coaching victory. Ali was a stud, 124, three touchdowns. Marshall gets it done at home in the home opener. Let's take a look at the team stats, but heck of a performance overall. Taking a look at the team stats. 45-21 is our victory, almost even on the first downs. 
but we dominated uh, in the run game. 284 on the ground. No turnovers by either team, which I actually was surprised to see. And uh, we controlled time and possession. No penalties. Grant Wells, absolute stud, 13 of 16. Super efficient day, 120, two touchdowns. No picks, didn't get sacked. Absolutely what you want. Ali and the boys on the ground, 124, three touchdowns for Ali. Grant also chipped in, 108 on nine carries and a touchdown. Evans got in the mix. Johnson on his jet sweeps. And Gamage with the one catch for uh, with the one one rush for 26. Gaines led the way in catches. Johnson with the 42 yards and the touchdown in yards. Didn't really put up a ton of passing yards, but it was still a really good day in the air. On D, Eli Neal tied with Johnson for the team lead in tackles. Two tackles for loss for Neal. He had a really solid day. He and Johnson were absolute studs. McCoy Edwards and Neal, three tackles for loss. Three sacks for Edwards and McCoy. Kroom and Abraham also got a sack. Lastly, I want to note Bowers. Five returns, 83 yards, averaged of 16.6. He's going to be a problem. That's going to do it for episode one. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'm super excited to dive into this series and get to know this team more. We're going to do recruiting in the next episode. I'm going to set the tone for where we are on the recruiting trail this season. We'll dive into the Virginia game. Just be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content so you stay up to date with this series and when new videos drop. I love you guys. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.